Okay, so I just got home from work and I have two of these Top Tez combustible gas leak detector pens. And I just used it today and I'm gonna show what you get in the box and how it works. Okay, so here they are. Uh, combustible gas leak detector PT199 with an auto shut off uh, battery indicator, low and high sensitivity, visual and audible alert. So it'll beep at you and there's a little indicator that says how much gas it's reading. And you open it up and just like everything else in the world, you get a manual. But inside you have the pen, which is very small. I mean, that's it compared to my hand and my hands aren't on the small side, so. But to put the batteries in, you open up this cap right here and you can see two Duracell batteries. So comes with good batteries, Duracell OEM. And these are AAA. If I can get them open. Hard to work with the camera right in my field of view. But they go in tell you which direction yeah it does right there tells you which way the batteries have to face so positive side going in and the cap goes right back on twists on is there any kind of seal let's see there is no like rubber seal in it so there is a chance of water getting into it, so you do have to be careful of that. Actually, it is pretty tight though. But this is the sensor. Turn it on. And this is what it shows as it starts up. It's got this little booting up thingy. Now, I don't have any natural gas in my house, which is where I'm doing this. But uh, you are technically supposed to start it outside, I believe, for it to calibrate. But we'll see. I will take this over to maybe a propane can to see how it works. But you have this S button, which is your sensitivity. And click that. And when the light is on, I believe that means that it's more sensitive and when it's off i believe it's less sensitive but um overall it feels decently nice i've used it three times now i did find a leak for me one time and i used it today to prove that i didn't have a leak and i used soapy bubbles to prove that i didn't have a leak either and that this is accurate but I'm gonna take this out to propane right now and see if it picks it up. Okay, so here's a little blue rhino propane tank and I'm gonna crack open. Oh, I'm just gonna take this, oh, crack the regulator. And, okay, it is closed. with it off let's see if I crack it a tiny bit oh it was empty but I do smell it so let's see if it can pick it up and 
oh that's the sound button so it did show a little bit on the icon it must have dissipated by now but it is picking up from inside the tank even though it's near empty it does sense that there was gas in it if i bring it away it dies down and we'll bring it back to this tank put it right here bring it in closer and it does pick it up i guess the tank is emptying even more but It does detect gas. It doesn't detect it in the open and it detects it when it's right near it. So it does exactly what you'd want it to do. And the delay time isn't too bad. Let's see, put it in right now, right in the gas. I'm gonna pull it away and count the seconds till it clears. It took about four seconds on the camera to clear, so. That's not bad at all, which I guess means it detects it in four seconds. So I'm gonna put it back and check the timer again. And that was four seconds, so it's accurate enough. So looks to me like it works. So that's it. I mean, I'm not trying to push it because um, I mean, they gave it to me, but it's, it's cheap. I think it's like $20 on Amazon. And for me, it's proven to work. I mean, that's four times now. So for 20 bucks, I mean, let's see. The instrument is used after 30 seconds of warm up, after startup. Sensitivity greater than 50 particles per million. So if you're ever looking for greater than 50 particles per million, it'll tell you that and let's see what color the other one is so this one right here it's another orange one and I'm going to be giving this away at some point I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the giveaway but let's see I'll do it on this video and it'll be thinking of a number and right now I'm going to write the number in the box and by the end of the day whoever is closer to it gets gets it okay so I am going to write that number and I'm not going to show you it but I'll let you get the sound of the marker so you know it's real signed it that way it's a little bit more confusing to try to guess the number but cover it up now and this is what you'll get it's never used it comes with the new batteries the duracell oems and you could try it out for yourself and see if it works for you or if you like it